yeah guys i'm back this is Olusha Daniel, and you know whenever i come like this i'm always here to bring something new give you an update so this particular one revolves around your websites of course if anything happens to your website you know your online presence has been tampered with so in order for you not to have this kind of issue i put out updates like this so that if you have issues you can easily come and watch these videos and easily resolve the problem you're having with your website now today what i'm going to talk particularly about is how to move a website from one domain to an entirely different domain with just a simple method just a simple step just a simple step you don't need to code anything you don't need to download something big you don't need, you don't just need anything much all you just need to do is to install a particular plugin now guys before i go any further i quickly like to share a story that led to the discovery of this method i want to show you now i used to have a domain my main domain name which is my name.com this is as you can see here guys you can see up here as you can see up here it says olushaladaniel.com.ng this is um like a substitute domain I have my main domain which is olushola.com so this is this particular one is region based because i'm based in nigeria so i have a dot com dot, dot ng domain but i have a global um domain too which is dot com now where am i going to guys my dot com domain had an issue it had an issue so i couldn't use it i couldn't log in i couldn't do anything in fact i i i couldn't gain access to it at all so what happened was that i had a lot of files in there i have a lot of things in fact i have pages i've created i have the website is up and running but when it went down i couldn't do anything thank god thank god i had a backup then I had a backup. I did a backup because normally I back up my websites. I keep them somewhere. I back I, I back them up on the um, web server. Then I download it from the web server to my own computer. You understand? So I can't just leave it on the web web server. If I leave it on the web server and anything happens to the web server, I'm going to lose all my backup files. So whenever I back up like that, I download them back on, into my computer. Now, as I was saying, guys, I um backed up the website i was able to download the backup even before i had issues with it because because i never knew i was going to have issue with my domain but i do backup regularly like i said so it was one of those good good time not good day good time that i had backed up my website before i had that issue now i couldn't use my websites i was forced to get another um domain which is this one you are seeing dot com dot ng so now the fear of it's not really a fear but i was just busy i i i can't to have that time to sit down and come up with a website it's actually not going to take me time it's something i can do within minutes but i was just maybe i should say i was just too um, emotionally attached to my old um website to my old design in my dot com domain which i couldn't gain access to i have files i have so many things there so probably i was just too emotional i was emotionally attached to it so everything i was thinking about was to get the domain back now it dropped in my mind that okay what can i do to get this domain back i think i have a backup somewhere can i upload this backup to this name to my new domain name if it's going to work of course everything is worth giving try even coming to the world is a try yes <laughs> is a try so we live our days we live daily on risk so let me just try it even if it's going to crash my new domain name then all well and good <laughs> out of failure comes success so i stood up and i i um started uploading i logged into this new um new domain which is the i installed a plugin called wp vivid wp vivid the reason i'm trying to illustrate or to explain like this is for you guys to get the picture the whole picture now i installed wp vivid let me show you the plugin you search for wp vivid now guys let me quickly chip this in make sure that 
the backup plugin you are using is WPVVD because all these plugins they have their own ways of um, encrypting data you understand of compressing data so when I backed up my former website the dot com website I used this plugin WPVVD I also have a video on it you can decide to watch it it shows you how to simply back up your website within five minutes your, your website is backed up depending on the files you have on your website but it's a very simple and straightforward um, method to use via WP Vivid plugin so guys make sure you download WP Vivid and start using it to back up your website and keep your download your your backups from your web server to your computer and keep it somewhere you can do it periodically maybe once a month once in two weeks once in every week just make sure you are having backups of your website so you don't lose files suddenly so this actually led to the discovery of this method i'm showing you so because in my old um domain name which is the dot com i already installed wp vivid and i already backed up my website with wp vivid and i already downloaded those files to my computer so i thought to myself let me install w wp vivid again into this new domain which is the dot com dot ng and let me try re-uploading the backup that i did with my dot com let me upload the backup for dot com let me upload it on the dot com dot ng which is the new one it actually sounded impossible like this guy you want to crash your website but i was poised i i i was ready to go ahead i want to do it i want to do it because i i i just I was desperate. I needed everything that, that I had on my former website. I need them back, including my home page, my everything I, I had on the website. So I want them back. Now, guys, I installed the WPVVID. I said I was going to show you. Let me show you how it looks like. You can watch the video on how to use WPVVID. This is the plugin here. Type in WPVVID. I think they even made an update on it let me see if it's going to come up then oh this is it this particular one migration backup staging and uh, staging wpv install and activate it after installing and activating you can use it to back up your website you can start using it today to back up your website so now in this case i was thinking to myself to use this same plugin to bring back my old website to this new my old website in the old domain to this new domain you understand now i installed it freshly on this new domain name that i just bought it's a new domain name nothing was on it except for the wordpress um cms that i installed on it via softaculous so it was fresh the first in fact i will go to plugins now okay i've, al I've already recovered the old website so I, I should have showed you that i only have the blue pv bit but right now just make sure you install and activate WPVV you now go to you open WPVV like this you go to backup and restore what do you want to do you want to upload the former backup files you have make sure the former backup files were done using WPVV like I said you can't back up his backup play now and decide to upload with WPVV. It's not going to work, guys. So make sure it's WPVV. Now, what, what do you want to do? You want to upload the files you have on your system. The backup files I told you to download from the server the other time before your website eventually crashes. You download them to your computer. Now you want to re-upload them back. What you want to do now is you scroll down, guys. You go to upload this way. Now from that upload, you click on select files once you click on select files make sure and you, you guys you notice something that's when you backed up in the from the old um, domain or whenever you back up using WPV you see that the backup comes in pieces like it, it comes in parts you see part one part two part three so what you want to do is copy them and keep them in a folder so whenever you need them you know this this is a particular file this is one file divided into different parts so and you are just going to upload it that same way you understand it's going to contain of um it's going to contain or comprise of um all part one part two part three part four part five depending on how big the large 
your website files are you understand so now you upload all those files you upload them here you click on select files like this let me show you i think i have mine like mine now this is my own um backup as you can see all one two three four yours might be more than this yours could be seven eight nine ten so make sure you analyze them like this control then you start clicking on your mouse to highlight them as many as they are then you click on open i don't want to open it now because it will start uploading so once you click on open it shows them here it lines them here it lines them up here around this side you see them here now the next thing you want to do is click on upload you see an, as you see an option telling you to upload you click on upload and it immediately begins to upload one after the other it starts from the um from the lowest which is all then moves to part one moves to part two moves to part three moves to part four so once it's completed it will tell you the restoration has been completed it will of course it will automatically sign you out because it's now a new engine in a new body it will sign you out to now sign in again so now guys but before i go there you can you can experience um you can experience an issue while you are uploading now what is the issue maybe your network stops or something happened like an error it's, it's usually because of um, um an unstable network so if you find the error and it's telling you fail to complete restoration or can't find file from server or something something like that and it eventually stops the uploading what you want to do is don't give up retry it again i've had that issues again i've had that issues before rather retry it again try uploading it again so it's going to work it's going to work so far you know that you've you've copied the right files and those files are not corrupt you kept them well then it's going to restore it's going to upload and it's going to restore you understand so now once you are able to let me quickly put this in once you're able, able to upload those files you see something like this let me come to back up that means those files are now on your web server you see something like this it can tell you to scan uploaded backup or received backup so you now see restore this is how you restore it so once you've been able to let me go back and show you once you come here you click on this and you've highlighted the the necessary files the necessary backups and you've opened everything automatically comes here like listing you understand you also see something like this something like this then it will tell you to restore so once you click on restore it begins to restore i hope you guys get that it will have seen those pieces or those files and parts it will have seen them as one file here so once you click on restore it takes you back here and you see how it's beginning to restore you understand you see how it's beginning to restore from one file to another so once it completes it it logs you out then you have to now log in again with your password your username and um, password if you try the old username and password and it doesn't work make sure you try the new username and password of course you set the username and password while you are installing wordpress via softaculous so you try the old one that's the old username and password for your former website if that doesn't work you try the new one so once you log in it's going to come up with a notification telling you to change your admin email address it's very very important because wordpress might need to be sending you updates so you have to update it from the old admin email to the new admin email from the old domain admin email to the new domain admin email so that's that exactly about that make sure you just do that it will um it's going to walk you through how to do that do it and verify it make sure it's working so once you're able to do that guys you can start checking all your website pages but you might notice maybe some pictures are missing some pictures pictures particularly it's only pictures you you'll be missing some pictures some will be there some will not be there but the structure of your website the design the colors everything you had before is everything is going to come back you understand everything i said 
will come back you understand so that's just it guys that's just it so i just hope you you try it out it's something i don't think anybody has done because bringing uploading a backup from a old website to a new website and bringing a old website back to life using a new domain name via backup is not something anybody can just say they want to do so that is just the method guys you guys can try it out and give me a feedback on how it works for you so guys i think with that i've come to the end of this particular tutorial video i hope you enjoy it i just want to hope you enjoy it <laughs> so guys this is where i'll be stopping now i remain Olushala daniel make sure you are always having a great time bye